It's winding up. It's winding. This is now live. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. You are watching the Hank Strange situation. Today, we're going to do a giveaway. We're giving away a Monarch shoulder rig from Andrew's Custom Leather, an exotic Monarch shoulder rig to be more exact. But first, we're going to do some talking. We're going to hang out. We're, we've got a special guest, Walter Keller from Safety Harbor Firearms. <laughs> in the building and then see look i'm wearing a ran clp hat walter i see so, that there you go full coverage from all the companies that support the situation and oh, then wait, i didn't know you had dickies as a sponsor oh Dick, <laughs> well not dickies but you know i mean you can work on that though yeah we, we <laughs> that would be so awesome yeah <laughs> this is my favorite shirt for some weird reason okay and right next to me i'm in the same building with him is babyface p over we're hosting him at our house yeah i'm My in house. his house because he has the fast internet <laughs> if anyone wants to know baby face lives in civilization <laughs> as opposed to me that i live out in the boonies you live out in the country yeah i don't know if people realize that but i live in the boonies <laughs> so my internet is not that fast right so okay so uh walter yes you're 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 in the building here you were showing us a rig before we went on air. You want to show that rig real quick? Check this out, guys. This is also from Andrew's Custom Leather, and this is called the Firepower Rig. It's cool. It's so, so cool. yeah, that looks awesome, Walter. So basically, Walter's um, Keg 12. Is that a is that a, a Remington version of the Keg 12? Uh, how many rounds? No, is that a Remington or a Mossberg in there? This is a Mossberg here. Mossberg. Yeah. So how many uh, how many shell casings are you able to put on the rig? That's a two-in-one. Two-in-one. And then the rig has um, – the Firepower rig has the ability for you to store how many on there? Like 12, 10? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. <laughs> That's awesome. That's ridiculous. Plus your glass. Plus your glass, yeah. I think I think I sold. I think I told Sam I wanted eight, but he went full on ten. So that's yeah, cool. nice. <laughs> hey, I take that. You know, so that plus you got your Glock. Yeah, yeah. plus it's got you know, Walter's got a, a a blue gun Glock in there right now. We are going to be doing a video on this coming up sometime soon. Um, this is something from Andrew's Custom Leather that needs to be updated. I saw a picture of this when I was at the shop with Sam one day, and it's from the 80s. Did you see that picture? Did you see that, Walter? It was from the 80s. The picture, this one, this holster? No, the picture that he has in the shop, it's like the guy has a real nice big handlebar mustache and all that. Oh, oh a little Miami Vice action going yeah, on? Yeah, it looks like Miami Vice, but I, this is a really cool rig, so I'm looking forward to being able to share that with folks out there. And then um, here in the studio, Babyface, we got cool stuff. Yeah, what Babyface has cool stuff. You want to show what so you got? We got, over there? we got a 1911. We got a nice Colt Series 70 that is ugly. This is my ugly, my ugly gun. What okay. else you got over there? And this is the gun here. I'll you pass show. it over to you. Okay, here we'll show it. I'll show it on my thing. This is uh, your Colt. Uh, what is this? What Colt is this? That's the Trooper 357 that I refinished. Okay. So this is the 357 Trooper. He did a lot of work on this on his channel. You should check out Babyface P. He is here. Was that the one that was pitted? Yeah. So you can still see it on the on the uh, yeah. on the cylinder a little bit. Yeah. And everybody was saying, "Oh, you got a you got a nickel plate down. You got." I'm like, yeah. "You're not going to hide the nickel, by No, no, no. This is not the python. No, the python's in the python. garage. I can show you the python, but it's in like pieces, right? Now. Yeah. He he does have a python that he's going to do. Uh, okay, well, this is the. I'm not going to do it. He's not. So gonna do I, it, I, guess. I guess we can say I've I've decided for anybody that's been following, I've decided I'm going to take the python. To do you remember the name of the place? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called I think it's called Ford's Custom. They're down in. Uh, they're somewhere here in Florida. They're about an hour away from us here in Florida. Um, Why they, are you asking me? That, I thought you would remember. They they do amazing work. So I'm going to be taking it to Ford's Custom to get it completely refinished by an actual professional, not just some you know garage gunsmith like me. And what kind of finish? We're going blued. I'm going to take it blued. Oh, okay. It came blued. It's going to stay blued. Okay. But um, I'm going to take it there and have them redo it. It's going to look good. 
I mean, for for Python, I think a Python needs to be back to like factory finish. Yeah. So, what's the story on the the Python? Um, just share that with people, like, because you people may not realize how you got your hands on the Python. Yeah. So, so. if you look at Hank's Instagram, he's got a picture of it. Um, <laughs> that didn't sound good. How'd you get your hand on the Python? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so yeah, I bought it. I bought it off Gun Broker. It was it was one of those that I bought. For no reason, because yeah. you know I want to throw money away. <laughs> I like okay. burn, I like burning money. Clearly, it was expensive. It's a good thing, a good thing your girlfriend's not here yeah. right now. Yeah. It was about a third of what a Python would go for. Yeah, um, because it was, it was it was in a fire, right? Yeah, it was. You see, you can see the pictures on on Instagram. It was in a house fire. It's really ugly. It's mm -hmm. not pretty. It's really terrible looking. Mm -hmm. um, so the plan was to buy it and refinish it, like I did the Colt Trooper. But after thinking about it, a Python deserves a professional's touch, like an actual high end professionals touch. So yeah. I'm gonna take it to Ford's custom and have them have them go over it, remove the pitting and do the uh, the deep what's it I think it's called like the navy, the, the deep navy blue that Colt used to do on theirs. So they'll redo that. And it should look somewhat new again. So it'll be cool. I think it's worth it because that's it's a valuable gun. Yeah. It was in a fire, so I don't know if it's ever gonna come back. I paid like eight or nine hundred bucks for it. It's a twenty-five hundred dollar gun in good condition, so mm -hmm. I think we can bring it back as a shooter. Mm -hmm. It's never going to be a safe queen. Yeah, I, I shoot my guns anyways. I'm, I've never been somebody that that owns safe queens. I just shoot all my stuff. Mm -hmm. All my guns are shooters. Yeah, but I do hear that Walter has some projects for me. So Walter, you need to you need to bring those to Hank so I can work on them for you. Yeah, I got my ghetto Luger, which was exactly. It was probably a really nice Luger at one time, but it looks like it. It went to hell and back, and um, then ended up with the electrical tape around the grips, and uh, <laughs> it had no grips, just black electrical tape. Jesus. So it was given to me. It needs some parts. I'll get the parts for you. Yeah, you I'll, I'll re-blue it and build it back up for you. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll go out and shoot the crap out of it. Hell yeah. Yeah, so bring it to, get, yeah. get some parts for him, or other option, bring it to Hank, and then I can tell you what parts I need to his order. Can we make it full auto? We'll make believe we're in the in the hood, and we'll do some shooting. You know what I'm saying? We'll do some side shooting. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like we are uh, Nazi uh, Nazi ghetto whites or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we're we're, <laughs> we're we're Nazis, but we're ghetto. What? Is that well, true? Sure you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying. If somebody's gonna I'm quote trying, Hank, don't throw me in. I, I, I want some like I want to get some like Sean Spicer level. Uh, Jesus, punched <laughs> in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so, nothing to say, huh, Walter? <laughs> he doesn't want to be included in this quote either. <laughs> you know um, what? Um, can we make it full auto? Luger? No, no, no. Did That's, they ever make full auto Lugers? <laughs> I don't think that was so long ago. I Not that you probably that. couldn't, but you could. We could make it a SBR. You could do the uh, the shoulder stock on it. Yeah, which they they made those wooden shoulder socks that it like fit mm -hmm. into. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. I'd be down on that. Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah. be. You can find one of those. I think I've seen some, those. There's some people that make aftermarket. So I mean, for Walter, yeah. I don't think you'd have to do a whole lot, but buy the aftermarket stock. Yeah, we. I mean, we could make a. We would have to SBR it. Walter has Walter has privileges that he pays for yearly. Yeah. Are you fashion. trying to go that far, Walter? <laughs> we can get a Pakistani-made shoulder stock in the world. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to spend too much money on it. Right. Keep the original. It's too expensive. <laughs> oh, are they that expensive? The shoulder stock? An original one is like five or six hundred bucks because they're collectible. They're like highly collectible. Hmm. Not only that, but if you have an original stock and an original Luger. It's not an SBR. They have provisions in the NFA that it doesn't count as relic or something. Yeah, yeah, it's a collectible, so it doesn't count as an SBR. So it's like super, super. You can do it with a uh, what's the Ingram um, high power? You can do an Ingram. I think it's called an Ingram high power. In okay. English. I'm sorry. English. Okay. People okay. are gonna, are going to shout at me. An English yeah. high power. Mm -hmm. You can do that as well with the stock, and it's not considered an SBR. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. They're just again, it's two thousand bucks for that. So. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us when we go to do this. Yeah, exactly. Because, uh, you know, this this all depends on a lot of different factors, including how far Walter wants to go with this one. Yeah. I was I was thinking simple, you know, I go on the KISS principle. You know, keep it yeah. simple, stupid. Yeah. yeah, you get the parts, you bring the gun, I will make it look somewhat like this. 
<laughs> yeah, check that out. And you, you see that, right, Walter? You've seen you've seen this gun, right? You've seen the pictures. There we go. Yeah. It looks good for what it was. I think so. Remember, you said it had. It was pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> when when he got when he got that thing, I didn't even want to touch it. Lola was like, opened it up in the paper that, the, that it was wrapped in, and she was like, "Oh, it I was don't even want it was it. so bad we couldn't get the serial number off of it because we couldn't open the cylinder." Yeah, remember we had to like pry the cylinder open yeah. and try and, to get the serial number. And I think it didn't have grips or anything. No like grips. That. Yeah, it was hideous. Yeah. Missing some screws. Yeah, I think that's a good thing for you to do. I don't know how many people do rehab videos out there, but I think that's cool. It's what I like doing. So. Yeah, I think that's those are cool videos to do. So, right, so what, um, what are we giving away? Yeah, let's talk about what we're giving away here. Yeah, I think it's hitting me right now. Let's right? jump into that. I'm gonna. I've got an example on me, so I'm gonna get up here and like. You won't even know. I'm so right model. now, unless you're looking. See my 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 Dicky shirt that Walter was talking about. Got yeah. My, got my glasses in there and everything. My shades. And then boom, boom. Check that out. That's it. There you, you got go. mags, you got, you got everything. So this is the Monarch shoulder rig here. This one's a Glock. So, you know, Glock, I've got a Glock 17 in there, two extra mags and all that kind of good stuff in it. We're going to give one of these away. And uh, you will be able to get, your, I'm going to be really jealous of the person who wins this because they get to choose an exotic skin. So the winner is going to be able to actually talk. You know, I'm going to give his name and everything like that. Let me get fixed up here. I feel, like, I feel like Lola when she's, like, trying to fix. The, the more you try, the worse it gets. It's yeah, her boo bitch. <laughs> Let me just stop. <laughs> she's just going to be jealous of my boo bitch, and, you know, we can't. What yeah. was that thing? She's always jealous. She's... Jealous of my, my my awesome mohawk, and then I don't want to make her too jealous of the boo bitch. So yeah, you get to you'll get to call up Sam Andrews and talk to him, and uh, you know he can do this for a lot of different guns. Oh yeah. So I'm, I don't want to say every single gun out there. Probably, probably get a 1911 in there. Yeah, definitely can do it for 1911s and lots of. He's been doing this for a long time, so as long as he's got the uh, dummy guns to do it, he will do it, and then he'll choose your exotic skin. So there is a video on this that we were talking about. And I just want to, before, see, I've got a bag here with some names in it. And Babyface is going to play. He's going to be like, God, Baby, I get to choose again? he's going to be Vanna White. And he gets to choose because I'm too nervous to choose because uh -huh. I want everyone to win. I want to give one of these to everyone, but I can't do that. And I just want to explain how we're doing this. You know, people that are giving us these things so, so that we can give it away, you know, obviously these companies are looking for publicity and, you know, the way that we're doing it is we want folks to go out there and help us share this on some kind of social media. So whether they have Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, whatever, whatever it is out there, um, we, we would like, you know, we're looking for people to help us spread the word. So that's the reason. I know there's some folks out there on YouTube that say that basically they only want to do YouTube, they don't want to do anything else, so they couldn't participate in this. And the other part of it is, is I really look for the folks who did this every day. So that's why there's not a, like a ton of names in here. But I think that's a good thing because, you know, that means you have a higher chance of winning because not everyone wants to put in the work, of it, apparently. You do, you put <laughs> in the just, effort. You'll yeah, I mean, to share this every day, really all you have to do here is um, you basically just have to go, like it takes you, what, a couple of minutes a day to jump on and, and, and share a video or something like that on some social media that you use. It's really not that big of a deal. But these are the people that did it. The names are in here. Are you ready for this, Walter? Hold on, I can. I'm I can ready. Actually, I'm ready to pull it out. I'm going to reach over this way. <laughs> and into frame over here. <laughs> All right, who are we picking? You guys ready? We we'll pick. Uh, pick this, out a name. This lucky bastard here. Okay, read the name to us. I'm so nervous about this. Oh, it's me. I get. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was about to say. Sean Effries. Whoa. Whoa. Sean Effrey. There you go. Very Sean Henry. No, Effrey. Effrey. He Sean... didn't get the last one, did he? Yeah, no, he Sean, didn't. Okay. no, I took out the name of the person who won the last time. Um, that person is still sharing our stuff and everything, which I think is cool. Sean, so something cool. He's a he's a he's a sharing 
he's a he's a sharing cool. Yeah, Sean has been Sean has been sharing my my stuff for a long time, even before we started doing this, and he continues to do it. I bet you he's the kind of person that's even going to keep doing it now, even though he's won something. Just like the last guy that won, yeah. you know, he's still. Yeah, yeah, you know. That guy is still out there sharing stuff, and I think it's really awesome. I'm really happy about that. So, Elshawn. Oh, there you go. That's Elshawn. Yeah, Elshawn. Right. See, Babyface knows Elshawn. Everyone knows Elshawn. He, he uh, shares and comments. Yeah, he shares comments. He's a really good guy, very deserving you're getting of it. Cool. Yeah, you're getting, you get to call up Sam Andrews and get yourself a rig like this. You and know. You, get to call, you get to talk to the guy of the voice of the – Yeah. Of <laughs> you get to spend – Exactly, exactly. If you get he to, wasn't doing holsters, he should be doing voice work. There's so many things that I think that um, Sam Andrews could be doing. you got to ask for the exotic human skin. He's got a little bit of human back left <laughs> See, over it that he can use. That's him. You heard that, right, Walter? <laughs> what did he say? He you says you got to use the exotic human skin <laughs> from the small little pygmies in Africa. Oh, oh it's on now. <laughs> it's on now. You heard you heard what he said, right, Walter? You're not commenting? <laughs> Walter doesn't want to be Yeah. <laughs> Babyface thinks that that the winner should choose the human skin. <laughs> human. The what? Human. The hu oh, the human skin. Yeah, oh, he's oh, got it. It's hidden away. He knows no, where it no. is. So he'll get you one. What you want. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> Take the turkey skin. <laughs> you get your turkey skin? <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys are terrible. What's the best okay. skin See, to use? That, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. I, I like the um I like the stingray. The stingray? Yeah, I like the stingray. The stingray is really good. Uh, let me see if I have I've got like a, a wallet thing somewhere on the I thought I had one. I don't know. I don't know where the heck it is. Where where the thing is. That's that's pretty good. Oh, there it is. Uh, no, this yeah, is this is nice. no, this is not the stingray. This oh. is this is Tegu oh. Wizard. Huh? What's okay. that, Walter? I was saying, uh, I was, I was, I was looking for the elephant trunk one. Yeah, elephant. Actually, elephant is pretty good. It, That's it pretty comes, tough. It comes with the uh, ivory inlays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I had a weird thought. Do they got possum skin? Oh. Oh my. Well, I don't know what that would smell like. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I think I have created problems for Sam Andrews here. <laughs> but he said, you know, let's it. Let's let's. Oh. Be there's some good choices. Okay. This this is not Stingray. This is actually Tegu Lizard, a lizard of some sort. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is my wallet. And this, by the way, is from Sam Andrews, you know, my nice fat wallet with all my that YouTube, really my YouTube negative millions that I've never gotten. You owe, you owe Google right now. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, um, Tegu Lizard is good. I think Elephant is good. There's a bunch of good. Tegu is common. That's what they use for, like, watch fans and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, There's, it's um, I'm trying to find my Stingray, but I lost it. I have no idea. Does he do Gator? Yes, you can You're do Gator. You one. can do the Gator, and you were mentioning, you can, um, I don't know if he could put the teeth. Oh God, um, that'd be pretty cool on the holster. But yeah, that would be yeah. really cool. <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him do the teeth on things. So there you go, man. That's awesome, Sean yeah. Effrey. Hit us up on social media. I don't know if he's watching this video right now. He hasn't I commented yet, so I don't know. Yeah, I didn't really um, announce announce anywhere that we're doing that we're doing all of this. So it's just it's going to go up on YouTube, and then I'll share it later. So there you go, man. Very Thank lucky, guys. and. Uh, I say good luck to you. My, uh, uh, congratulations to you, my friend. That was pretty awesome. We're going to do more giveaways. So anyone else out there who's interested in this, if you would like to become part of this, we're going to keep doing giveaways. Actually, uh, Walter, Safety Harbor, and myself, we're going to do we're going to do yeah, something. something coming. Yeah. It's still in the – it's still secret. It's yeah. Works. Well, no, no, no. It's not, it's not secret anymore, right, Walter? Is Walter there? Do we have Walter? No, we don't he have froze. Walter. He <laughs> froze or crash. something. We're waiting for Walter to come back. Um, okay, so while we're waiting for Walter to come back on, though I'm not sure what happened to him here. <laughs> he you know, uh, we'll, wait, we'll wait for him to come back on. So uh, Babyface and I could talk about this. The next giveaway is going to be Big. 
an SHTF 50 cal. Yeah. So 50 B and somebody's getting a 50 BMG. <laughs> That's so which cool. is ridiculous. <laughs> we're gonna give that away. And we're we're celebrating the fact that we hit fifty thousand subscribers with a fifty BMG. With a fifty BMG from Safety Harbor Firearms. So we're working on that and we're actually gonna do the shorty version of it. You know, I'm trying to get Walter to call it the Hank. But it's the shorter version, so it's a 16 inch. Yeah, it's a 16 inch. Oh, Lord. Yeah, really. oh. There's a squirrel. He's trying to Buckshot. get a squirrel. What you Buckshot. Doing? If you guys watch my channel, Buckshot causes all the problems lately. Like so he, he sees a he sees he's a, a squirrel out there that he's trying he to get. He sees a squirrel out the door and he just went crazy. It's not a goat. He already got in trouble for going after a goat with Lola. That goat got up the other day. Oh, really? He headbutted him on the side. Oh, really? So one of the goats got... I didn't even see this. Yeah, you were shooting. Was he okay? Oh, he's fine. Oh, okay. He taught him a lesson. Yeah. It didn't hit him hard. She was just like, don't you come near me again. Oh, she put he the horns to him. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't come back. Yeah, but... He does after the little one. Yeah, he's such a troublemaker, but he's fine. So, yeah, we're going to give away a 50. We're going to do a theme of this 50. We're gonna, it's going to be a really cool gun. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Somebody's getting some major fire. Yeah, you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm going to hang out here with you in a little while, see if Walter comes back so we can talk <laughs> about it more. But, you know, it's going to be a really nice gun. We're going to throw in some cool stuff. Ran CLP stuff will be in there from from whoever gets this. Um, I'm Keith, think, I'm, I've got some big plans. Keith What's Gregory up? is asking what your EDC is. My because EDC. Because you're carrying the Glock 19. What's your EDC? Yeah, well, yeah, this is a Glock 17. My, 17. E, my EDC is a Glock 43. That's what I've been carrying most of the time for the last year. And then I carry like a Glock 17, you know, in, in a go bag or something like that with me. But mostly it's been a Glock 43. And then after that, it's a Glock 19. Jerry Matheson, I think is mm -hmm. his name, is asking, how do you get your name in the bag? Okay, so someone wants to know how to get the name in the bag. I'm going to say that again for um, anyone who doesn't know this. Basically, we're looking for the people who can help us out on social media and share our stuff. And I'm looking for someone that um, shares it often. So the way that you do this is like, for example, so when we announce the next giveaway, just uh, tell Walter to click back on the link that I sent. So when we do the next giveaway, when we announce that, what we're looking for is the person who goes out there and like once a day, that's what you have to do. If you're on Twitter or if you're on Facebook or you're on Instagram, whatever you feel comfortable with, um, even here on YouTube, to be honest with you, if you, if you have some way of sharing these things through YouTube and you help us out, really that's what we're looking for. So I don't have Walter here right now. We're waiting to try to get him back on so he can say, but the big thing about it is that the people who are doing this giveaway. So the next one is gonna be Safety Harbor Firearms. They have stuff that they wanna share. Maybe they wanna help get their Facebook built up or this thing or that thing built up. And we've gotta work with them and give them some incentive to get, I mean, a 50, we're looking, this is like serious money that we're talking about here. The, the, um, the SHTF 50, even if you, if you get the complete gun, it's not as expensive. Something yeah, it's, in the, it's over $2,000. Yeah. It's not it's five or 6000 like um, some 50s would be. It's, it's a really good value, but we're still looking at over two grand. And then by the time we put all the stuff that's going to go on this one, you're probably you know, looking closer to, you know, I'm going to say somewhere between $2,500 mm. to $3,000 for that gun that we're going to give away. So... Justin is getting a 19 Glock 19 MOS tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You should go by Sam Andrews and uh, see his custom stuff. Cause yeah. Sam has some awesome stuff. This is Justin Tag, I think is how his name is pronounced. Oh, okay. He's getting a Glock 19, Glock 19 MOS. MOS Very tomorrow. nice. Yeah. If I was buying um, a Glock 17 or a Glock 19 today, It'd be the MOS. I would get the MOS. It's, it's, like not it's worth question. it. Yeah. yeah. Even if you don't use it immediately, yeah, you'll eventually. If you will, and it's you're gonna save so much money from having to um, cut the slide and all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, uh, it would be awesome if Glock did that with some other with some other guns out there. But, sure, it's gonna yeah. be in the future. Probably in the works. Right. I think it's only on the 17, the 19, and the 34 at this point. So that's pretty cool. Did you have some? Did you have any? Did I don't think there's really anything else. About? We're gonna we're yeah. gonna give away a 50. That's yeah, super awesome. How do you get your name in the hat? Be, yeah. uh, be do awesome the work. as well. Yeah, it's not, I don't really think it's that much work to do. And I understand, I can, just to answer the people who are going to complain right now, because I'm probably not going to waste my time trying to, to talk to you about it. Um, but it, I don't really think it's that much work 
to no. go in once a day, take five yeah. minutes out of your day and share something. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, and definitely these people who are in the bag, they've been doing that. Even the one, the people who won, you know, the guy that won the last time, he's still sharing our stuff knowing that he's not going to win this time because obviously we want to sp spread the love. And it's really great odds. And if I wasn't doing what I'm doing and another YouTuber was doing this, I would be all over that because oh, yeah. the odds like are so much better for you that you're going to win some stuff. How many are in here? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not that many other people in here that you're going up against. So I think it's really cool. That's how you do it. Um, I want to remind people before we get out of here all the things you can do. We're on social media. We're on uh, Facebook. We're on uh, Instagram. We're on Twitter. I'm also on Snapchat. Everything is at as uh, Hank Strange. We are on Patreon. <laughs> Jesus, he's a squirrel. <laughs> yeah. So we are on Patreon, and it's Patreon slash Hank Strange. For those of you who want to help us out there, I, I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, YouTube again that's been going on lately where YouTube basically has not not they, they're not calling it demonetizing but they're um, You know really putting the screws to a lot of youtubers not just the gun guys but. There's a couple questions about what you mean by share mm -hmm. So what do you mean by share? Well, so okay, so how do you share your stuff? Yeah, so for example if you are on Facebook and we have a um, You know we have uh, uh, we have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me kick. Buckshot is getting kicked out right now. Um, yeah. So if you're if you're on, um, lost train of thought. Yeah. So where was I? Okay. So here's here's what I'm gonna say. Uh, hold on one second. How do you share? Uh, um, so yeah, it doesn't mean just Facebook. You don't have to just go click the Facebook share button. Um, how have how have you been noticing people sharing your content? Okay, so here's, here's how I notice. So let's say um, someone has Twitter. Basically, if we've got a video and we're asking you to help share this video, whatever it is, or um, for example, if it's the person has a, a website or some other social media, they want to share and we tell you that we would like to get up the numbers of whoever's following them on this thing, you would take that link, Put it on Twitter, post it up, and share it with the other people who follow you on Twitter, or or post a picture if it's on Instagram, right? Because Instagram doesn't let you put links that you can follow to. So you might throw up a picture on Instagram, like a screen grab or something of that company or that thing that we ask you to share, and then you put it up on Instagram and you tell people, "Hey, go check this out." You know, that's, that's pretty much. I mean, what would you do, like, as an idea for? Um, you know, for how you would do this. people send letters, I think, to the company saying, hey, we That's appreciate true. you helping yeah. Hank. Um, mm -hmm. we, you have like a P.O. box and have people send you letters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't yeah. have a P.O. box. <laughs> PO box. <laughs> I probably should. You, you should know, that have, probably... have letters come to it. Um, but that, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't find his address. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's mostly just through any sort of social media. Even if you don't have a Facebook, I understand that a lot of people don't mm -hmm. for any number of, of reasons. Right. Um, <laughs> you don't have to support any particular. Richard Atz is asking, is there like a list of people we have to support? Uh, no, there's no, no. Like, specific list. No. It's just, you know, if you think something is cool, comment on the video, tell the company, hey, I just saw this video, Hank, and your product is awesome. I love it. Stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. You know, the thing is, is just that it's, it's, this is, that's a little bit of a variable, you know, and I try to make it as easy as I can yeah. for people out there, but it, it really, what it depends on is the, the, the particular company and what it is that they feel they need to grow. And most of the times it's going to be something in their social media yeah. that they're trying to grow. So that's just really what it is. And if you want to know if that's the only way that we're giving away stuff, that it's not the only way we're constantly, like I do give away stuff on YouTube. Yeah, we you gave know. away a lot of like uh, what cleaning stuff. Patches. Yeah, I mean the other day we gave away the new gnome patches that yeah, Safety Harbor those has. Are awesome. Yeah, I gave away ten. I gave away five on YouTube and five on Full Thirty. Yeah, and we're in the process of shipping those out to the people. Um, I sent out uh, Swabit sent me. There's this company called Swabit, and they make these really cool Q-tip like things, but they're tougher than Q-tips that you can rewash and you can use them to clean your guns and stuff like that. 
And they sent me, I, I met them at SHOT Show and they sent me samples to try out and test. And I asked them to send extra stuff yep. so I can send it to people and have those people tell me what they think about it while we're testing it. Yeah, totally. Right? I mean, yeah, send them out to some fans, see what they yeah. think, and give us yeah. some feedback. And we do that, and we don't make people you know, jump through a lot of stuff. I just might say, hey, you know, if this works, let me know, yeah. so that we know whether it works. If it doesn't work, let me know, so we know that it doesn't work. So we're always doing that kind of stuff. I think that with these really cool things, though, we want to make sure that we're giving back to the companies that's giving us something, and mm -hmm. what they're getting out of it is a value. From, from yeah, from people, from people yeah. seeing their stuff. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I used to like try to say to people, oh, make sure you're subscribed and get my subscriber numbers to go up. And I kind of changed it because I felt like that's, you know, like asking people to do something for me. And I'm not as worried about that as making sure that we keep doing more and more giveaways. Believe it or not, I've got another giveaway set up after the 50, the 50 that I'm not even talking about yet. And it's all happening because this way the companies actually get feedback. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think it's a it's a really cool, important thing. Okay, so I sent out links to um, to Walter. I'm trying to give him some time to get back on. Any other? Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to get back in here. Any, yeah, it's Wednesday. We can yeah, next Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. We'll come back here next Wednesday. I'm trying to. I do a live Facebook thing on Thursdays yes. tomorrow. Yeah, it's a good thing to plug. plug that yeah, so you guys should check that 1 out. One o'clock Eastern. Uh, ish. One, one o'clock ish. Ish, <laughs> Eastern time. Yeah, don't of, don't tie me down to one o'clock. <laughs> what are you What are you talking about? Politics and I talk, on the yeah. news. Yeah, I talk about whatever people want to. I'm always telling people like, ask me any question. Oh, yeah, we can discuss. It. Yeah, I'll answer anything. Ask me about sex, politics. <laughs> You know, whatever questions you want. If you've got a question in your mind that you want to ask me, I will try to answer it to the best of my ability. I'm the kind of person, if I don't know something, then I'll just tell you guys that I don't know. Yeah. But I really want to be able to, 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 to know from you what it is you want to know about what we're doing or who I am or what we have going on in the future or even just stuff that's on your mind. Keith just asked, are we going to the NRA show? Hank will be at the yeah, you're not going. Not this year. You're work. Work. Yeah, you're working. Go work. We're going to try to, I, I want to get him to go to one of these shows. I plan to eventually. Yeah, yeah. So I am going. I will be there. And if you want to meet up with me, I'm trying to think. I'm definitely going to be stopping by Rand CLP's booth. Are you, do you have any time so. set up or are you just kind of going to be floating? Uh, no, I don't have any times now. What I'll do is I'll post it somewhere on uh, social media. I'll post where I'm going to be at. But, you know, mostly Lola and I will be walking around checking out stuff. I will stop by some different booths and places that I like. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and if you guys want to see anything from there or there's something really cool yeah, that you want to see. Yeah, say something, you'll go film it. Yeah, that's how I do a lot of stuff. Like when I'm at, the, when I'm at those shows, people are always sending me messages like, oh, this new thing go is out. Yeah. yeah, and I love that. That's how I know about stuff because I really don't know about much of anything. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we do that. We will be at NRA. You want to wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, let's wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks to everyone that participated yeah. and everyone that did share. I really appreciate you guys, and um, we there will be more stuff. There's so, lots coming down the pipeline. Yeah, keep doing what you've been doing, and you can win something very cool. You know, this 50 thing. That's a big deal, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I wonder if we're actually going to see more people try to get in here and so. put the work in to get the 50 going. So that's it. As I always say, you know, if you seek peace, prepare for war. I'm Hank Strange, Babyface P, Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms, and a big thank you and shout out to Sam Andrews of Andrews Custom Leather. Yeah. I just posted a video on the guns from the Magnificent Seven movie with uh, the holsters from the Magnificent Seven movie, excuse me, which Sam did. So you guys check that out. Cool. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>